And that's where we find Cameron Fontana. Cameron, are you pumped up yet? Oh, good morning, Adam and Maria. I'm sorry. I was entertaining the thousands of people here that want to see my fitness moves and all my oh, poses here at the Arnold Sports Festival. That's right. We are here live this morning. And if you don't already know about the Arnold Sports Festival, you should because it's the biggest event of the year. 18,000 athletes converge here at the Greater Columbus Convention Center, and over 50 sports are played. It's the largest sporting event as far as athletes go in the world. It's bigger than the Olympics, people. So this morning on Good Day Columbus, we're going to have some fun. We're going to hang out here in the Expo Center. We're going to check out the weightlifting. There's going to be arm wrestling. There's a WWE exhibit where we're going to learn some wrestling moves and then I hear I'm gonna get a spray tan this morning so I can look just like the bodybuilders because let's just be real that spray tan can definitely put some definition on these babies it might not be able to help these too much but we're gonna try as much as we can so stay tuned to Good Day Columbus all morning long I'm gonna get back to my poses Adam and Maria you let me know how it goes I'm still looking I can't see anything well when he gets a spray tan <laughs> when he gets a spray tan you can okay, see okay there you go Cameron you're doing great. <laughs> All right, thanks, Cam. <laughs> Happening today, Cameron Fontana is getting whipped into shape. He is live at the Arnold Sports Festival and Fitness Expo. Cam, you look pretty good. Oh. You need a tan. G good morning, Adam and Maria. That's right. I'm just I'm getting my practice on, and I'm with Brent, the spokesperson with the Arnold Sports Festival. Good morning, Brent. Good morning, Cameron. How are you? Good. I, oh, I'm very good. I liked your Arnold impression. I am so excited because this is one, if not the biggest event of the year for Columbus. Let's talk about what's new this year. Huge event for the Columbus, for the city, obviously. What is new this year, two big things. One over here, we'll show you a little bit later, the WWE experience. We've got a ring set up, got matches going all day long. Q&A, Ric Flair, Triple H, all those guys. And then up at the Ohio Expo Center, today is a brand new Arnold Kids Fitness Expo, which is an expo just like here downtown, yeah. but geared toward kids and families. Why do you think the Arnold has done so well in Columbus? It's done so well in the city because the city has embraced the event over 27 years. It's grown. It started here. Didn't start out as big as this. Started out over vets as just a one-day bodybuilding competition, but it's grown year after year after year, and now it is just so ingrained in the community. We'll be here forever. It is, and over 50 sports are represented. What are some of the things that people can see today when they come? When they come out, we got a wide variety of things downtown at the, high, uh, at the, at the Arnold Fitness Expo on the stage we're staying at. Yeah. We have arm wrestling. We have strongman. We have some amateur bodybuilding fitness figure bikini girls um, all through the building you got gymnastics fencing martial arts jump rope oh my uh, god just stuff all over the building uh, something for everyone long long list of events come down 15 bucks get you into everything that is awesome and really there is something for everyone you can come see the bodybuilders or there's ping pong i mean there's all the sports that you can think of here and coming up next i think we're doing some weightlifting right yes we are olympic weightlifting we're going to pump you up Adam and Maria, we're going to throw it back to you guys. Let's get ready. It's not a tumor. Oh. Kindergarten cop oh, reference. Yeah. Everyone. There you go. Thanks, Cam. Happening today, though, thousands are headed to the convention center for one of the biggest events of the year. Cameron Fontana is live at the Arnold. Cameron, <laughs> you getting pumped up? Good What's morning. so funny? Hey, right here is Ben. You're going to see him lift some weights here pretty soon, but I love Ben because he can do a really good Arnold impression. You were just doing it off camera. Do it again. <laughs> Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. Do the other one. It's not a tumor. Not the tumor. <laughs> yeah, that's a great job. He deserves a round of applause. We are now in a new section, not a new one, new for this morning, here at the Arnold Sports Festival. With me is Mark, an Olympic weightlifting coach. Good morning, Mark. Good morning. It's good to have you. How are you? I'm good now. You're good now? We'll, we'll see after Sunday. <laughs> right. I mean, it's a crazy weekend, isn't it? Yeah, for us, it's four days now. We used to do three. Now we do four. That's amazing. Now, in this room right here, tell us about the competition that goes on. So what we're going to see for today and tomorrow, we're going to see the snatch lift, which is one continuous motion from the floor to arm's length. And then we're going to see another discipline called the clean and jerk. Okay. That is where we have a two-stage motion. We bring the bar to the shoulders and then from the shoulders up overhead to arm's length. We have three referees that will judge these lifts and we'll see literally world record holders all the way down to youth lifters on Sunday. Okay, so Ben, let's see an example of a proper snatch. Now, what's the key to this that the judges are looking for? What they're looking for is that the arms are locked out, the athlete can show steadiness at the top, and then they wait for the down signal and then bring it down to the floor. And what's the other one that you mentioned? So the clean and jerk, we want to bring the weight up to the shoulders. First, okay. we clean the weight. 
from here, he stands up, he'll get set and drive the weight, feet fore and aft, wow. he'll bring them together. And how much weight do they usually get on there during the competition? During the competition, we have had lifters lift over 500 pounds for the men's division, and we have a girl today that will probably lift over 400 pounds, Tatiana Kasharina from Russia. She'll be oh lifting gosh. today at 1 o'clock. That's like a half of a fiat. Yes, a half <laughs> that's, of that's a fiat. fiat. Yes, yes. Well, I'm going to give you the microphone. Okay. We're going to throw it back to you guys. Can I try this? Sure, we'd love okay. to, Cameron. We've worked with this before. Yeah. Go ahead and get set properly. Yeah. Big okay. chest. That? That's awesome technique. Okay. Push to the floor. Is the doctor standing by. Nice snap. Oh, uh, Get it yeah. on the shoulders. Now, Cameron, drive it over your head. Drive it over your head. Hold oh. it. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Look straight ahead. Bring your feet together. Feet together. Down Pretty signal. Good, Down signal. All right. Woo! Good lift. How much weight was that? That was close to 100 pounds, Cameron. No, no way. Don't lie. Really? No, no. Yes. Yeah, oh, close okay. to 100 pounds. Hey, nice I got job. Pound, guys. Awesome We're going to throw back to you guys. I'm going to add maybe five more pounds to it. Work on my, what was that called? That's the clean and jerk. Clean and jerk. Let's go work on the clean and jerk. Sure. Back to you Good guys. Good luck, Cam. <laughs> Happening now, we are talking all about sports in the Arnold Sports Festival. Good days, Cameron Fontana. He is there now. Cameron, you... I don't, what are you Adam doing? and Maria, I don't know what I've gotten myself into. We are live at the Arnold Sports Festival. Look at that arm right there, because that arm, like a python, is about to battle me in an arm wrestling challenge. With me is the chairman himself, Fairfax. How are you doing, sir? Outstanding today. Let's talk about the competition that's happening here. What is it? It is the largest and most prestigious arm wrestling event in the whole world. We have the best athletes from six different countries, top prize money, and as you can see in Dan, a stellar elite athlete. I mean, look, I mean, look at just, he, he, he wasn't smiling before, he's smiling right now, but that arm, I liked what you said. What was the line that you said about the arms? You said the buy and the try, how did that go? Show me. Well, you wanna buy some or you wanna try some? <laughs> you wanna buy some or you wanna try some? And now I'm gonna try right now. What are the rules, Fairfax? How does this go? Let's see it. Well, because we're gonna have fun here today uh -huh. and you have absolutely no chance of winning this, Okay, none whatsoever. No, no hope. I, I want to try to humor you a little bit and make you feel better. But it's not too much. I can do it. Your arms up on your table. You just go for it and don't stop. And you just keep pumping just keep and pumping. pumping like that. And Dan will look at you like you have no sense at all. Okay, so I'm going to hand you the microphone. Let's get set up. Okay, so you put your hands here. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. And in your case, we may break the rules a little okay. bit. One, okay. I want to try once you, just without once, it. Right, okay. Once you lock up, okay. you want to keep those wrists straight. Okay. Yeah. I'll hold this, yep. and I'll say, ready, go. Oh, we're supposed to go? Okay, do that again. Oh. <laughs> ready, go. <laughs> okay. Let, now, me try the, let me try the other rules. What's the other rules we got? Well, the other rules are we're going to allow you to put both hands up here. Okay. Okay. We're going to allow you to put your leg up here on the table. Okay and push a little bit, okay? Yep. We're gonna have you headbutt him if you want, <laughs> if uh, possible. You and now, and now we're gonna say, ready, go. No! <laughs> you, Dan, you are too strong. That is amazing. What time are the competitions going on today? Well, we start at 9 a.m. Okay. We go to 10 o'clock today. Randy Couture, you know, MMA oh, Randy champion, Couture, yeah. will be giving out some of the awards. And as you can see from the tables, we have some of the best trophies here in the whole weekend. And something very, very unique. I'm very excited about today's event, and I'm happy that you can, the guys can have us on board here. Well, thank you, Fairfax. This was a pleasure. Let's go. We're, we're going to throw it back to you guys. Okay, Dan, Adam, Maria, this is one more for you, okay? okay. This is for all the marbles. Do you it. tell us when. Come on. Make us proud, Cam. All right, go. Fontana. <laughs> I think he needs your help, Adam. I think he needs to watch Come the movie on. Over the Top. Happening now, the Arnold Sports Festival is in full swing. And good day, Cameron. Good day, Cameron Fontana. Last time we saw him, he was arm wrestling. Didn't do so well. Now he's learning to fence with that. What's up? Yes, this is the original fencing, Adam and Maria. Of course, this is the Star Wars lightsaber. But behind me, the line is going on for miles for people waiting to get inside. Are you guys excited to be here? 
All these people are here for the Arnold Expo for various reasons. Maybe they're here to see the classic, maybe to go check out the fitness center and the booths. This is Sydney. How are you, Sydney? I'm good. How are you? Good. What are you here to see? Ian Wilson Olympic lift. The Olympic lift. Do you lift at all? I do. Oh, that's the question around here. Do you lift? <laughs> I do. You do? How long have you been lifting for? Um, three years Three now. years. Do you want to be an Olympic athlete? I'd like to. You'd like to? Yeah. Well, good luck. Here, you made your television debut, and we're going to remember this moment you saw Sydney. She's going to the Olympics, isn't she? Absolutely. One day. Now, we're going to go right in here. We talked about fencing, and behind us is one of the coolest things you ever see. Two Jedi Knights. Then you got little kids back there actually doing the fencing and with me is Julia. How are you, Julia? Wonderful. Thank you. How are you doing? Good. First behind us, let's talk about what are the kids doing back there? They are fencing. This is the youngest of the whole Arnold fencing class. How old are they? Oh, this is between five years old and eight. What? That's right. And the oldest fencers competing at the Arnold's, Arnold will be veterans over 70 years old. This is how cool this sport is. So all the way from five years to 70 years, people compete. Even to 89, 90, we, we say 105, as long as you can move around yeah. and hit somebody. And speaking of people that are over 100, I think Jedis are ageless. And that that's what we have. That we got one right true. here. What's, what, what's he doing here? Uh, he's using the force. Are you using the force? Actually, yes, I am. What are some tips that you can give these young fencers, being a Jedi Knight, to win and do this? Always be mindful of your opponent's actions. Never stop moving. And no matter what you do, don't let them hit you. And don't let them hit you. So let me get, let's turn your lightsaber on. And I'm going to challenge you to a three-way fence. Okay, you, know, you ready? I will, I will teach you because you know teach our coach. Yeah. We have a Royal Arts Fencing Academy here in okay. Columbus that is actually hosts this event. So what's what's the number one thing I should do? Number one thing you should do, you, you have to enjoy the fact that you are setting him up to do what you want him to do. So I want him to go that way. I just killed what? what? What are you doing? I, I just, I'm a natural. See how easy it is, Adam and Maria? You, you find a Jedi Knight and boop. They're gone. Coach like that, anything is possible with a professional coach. Anything is possible with a coach. So come out to the Arnold today. There's fencing here. I'm going to challenge this Jedi Knight again, and we're going to throw it back to you guys. Let's go. Cameron, I'd like to see you take on the kids, too, because I, I think the kids, you might they, have a chance with yeah, the kids. Exactly. You might have a chance with the kids. <laughs> Hey guys, and coming up next, we're checking out the WWE experience here at the Arnold Sports Festival. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Well, that was a sweet move. Happening now, the Arnold Sports Festival is underway as we speak. And good day, it's Cameron Fontana. He is there live. Cameron, you've done arm wrestling, fencing. What's next? And, and I'm doing something so amazing right now because with me is NXT WWE diva Charlotte. How are you? Woo! Oh, thank you, Cameron, for having me. Oh, this is so exciting. Obviously, you are Ric Flair's daughter, 16-time world champion, and now you're making your own name. What's it like being part of the WWE? I, I don't have words. Um, I started in Tampa at FCW and to see NXT's brand grow to be NXT Women's Champion, to be Rookie of the Year last year for PWI, 39 years after my dad, um, being able to pave my own path, it's amazing. And you are a part of a really cool event happening today and tomorrow. What's happening? And this is like a real, this is awesome. Oh, this is home to me, right here. <laughs> this is home. So what's <laughs> happening here at the Expo Center? Well, we've got Q&As, uh, recruiting booths all around. We have actual matches going on. And autograph signings. Autograph signings. Yep. You'll be signing so autographs? So the entire WWE experience. Oh my gosh. And this is so neat because you can see. Are you guys excited to be here? You can see the line is going all the way around. You can get the entire WWE experience here. And Charlotte is just one of the many people making it happen. Now, Charlotte, obviously you kick butt in the ring. Duh. And we can't get too physical <laughs> because she would own me in anything. But I do want to challenge you in something epic. Is that OK? Are you ready to be challenged? I'm up for the challenge. Are you up for it? I'm up for Are it. Are you ready for an epic thumb war? Oh, you're going down. You ready? Yeah. Let's do it! Oh, oh. Go, go! One, go, two, two, three, four! I declare oh, thumb go. war! Ready, go! Oh, oh. oh, she got me! Oh! Oh, dramatic! Oh, she did that! Pull in, pull in my people! Pull in my team! Where's my tag team? Chayton, tag me in! Go, go tackle her! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Charlotte, thank you so much. Oh, thank you Have so a blast much. today. Thank you. It's happening here at the Arnold. Let's get back to Thumb Wars. Okay. I like that. Get in there, Maria. Here we, here we go. You and I. You and I. There we go. One, two, three, four. I declare a Thumb War. All right. 
<laughs> What's happening now? One hometown girl is hitting the big time. Good day, Cameron Fontana is live at the Arnold Sports Festival at the WWE Experience. Cameron, yep. How you doing? Good morning. This is so exciting. We are live at the Arnold Sports Festival. One of the biggest things happening is the WWE Experience, and on each side of me is a pretty big deal. We have Finn Balor and Alexa Bliss next to me. How you guys doing? Fantastic. Good. How about you, Finn? Um, doing great. I'm delighted to be here. Now, I know Maria loves accents at the studio, so can you just say to the camera, I love you, Maria? I love you, Maria. You're going to have to say that one for the books. Yeah. How excited are you to be here, and what do you have going on? Uh, you know, all of us here at NXT are absolutely delighted to be here. Uh, we have some live matches going on. We have uh, Q&As, autograph signings. We, have, uh, we also have a tryout as well going on for wow. some new so talent. You're looking, yeah. you're looking for, yeah, would probably. I make it? No hope no. in hell, mate. Dang it. <laughs> That's awesome. But someone that did make it, actually, from here in Columbus, is Alexa. Now, Alexa, which high school did you go to? I went to Hillier Davidson. Hillier Davidson. You want to give a shout out to all your Hillier Davidson peeps? Hey, Davidson. What up? <laughs> and you started at the Arnold competition. How did that influence to where you are now? Um, actually, I started at the Arnold when I was five years old, competing in gymnastics. And then I transitioned into all-star cheer. And I've competed every year up until last year when I signed with WWE. Before that, I competed with NPC and IFBB, and it's kind of helped me get into the athletic ability that I need to be able to do this. Yeah, and, and you are a hometown hero for sure because you're repping Columbus today and you're doing a great job. Absolutely, the O-H-I-O. O-H! O-H! I-O, we got a lot of people from out of town. So you, I know Finn talked about his matches. When are you coming up today? Um, I will be coming up soon. I have a match, I believe, with the women's champion, Sasha Banks. Oh, so you got to get her, Alexa. You got to get her. You're going to get her, okay? Oh, yeah. You got it. Now, I got a question for you guys. Before yep. we go, I can't wrestle you, obviously, because you guys would kill me. But we are going to engage in another battle. Are you ready yeah, on, for an okay. epic thumb war battle? Oh, yeah. And I'm going to try to take both of them on at once. We're going to throw it back to you guys. Here we go. You ready? One, two, three, four. I declare thumb war. Ready, go. Oh, uh, Cameron, you may be. Oh, 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 just a little. Oh, they got me. No. They got How me. did that happen? Ow. Ow. Man. Ow. They're bad. They're Cameron Fontana, oh. everybody. Oh, the poor guy. Oh.